Hello, hello! Today we're going to take a look at Disruption. This ability has a lot of potential as well as mystery surrounding it. Many people have different opinions on uh, how it works and what it does, uh, so we're gonna put it to the test and hopefully answer all the questions that could have risen over the last few months. The first thing I want to address is disturbance level. As many of you know, you can customize disturbance intensity uh, to fit your needs. However, as you can probably see from the footage we've made, anything below high intensity uh, hardly helps distracting your opponent. With that out of the way, let's address the most important question. Does disruption make the opponent's lock disappear? And the answer is yes, it absolutely does. The lock disappears instantly after you use your ability. And not only that, but you can also force players on the opposite team to unlock your teammates. That sure is good news, but you have to remember that your opponent can always relock you after you used your disruption. Try staying behind NPCs and using them as cover to prevent that from happening. Another beautiful thing about disruption is that it prevents a lock prompt from appearing above your head. For those of you that don't know, a lock prompt basically allows your pursuer to easily lock you without looking in your direction. If you're performing one of the high profile actions such as killing, stunning or running. Well, with Disruption you don't have to worry about it anymore. Also, a lock prompt will not appear above your decoy if your opponent is disrupted, making it very, very useful. Another important feature of Disruption is that it drains your target's approach meter upon deactivation. It means you can still get a kill without getting your score reduced, but only during the effect of Disruption. Combining Disruption with abilities that also mess with player's vision lead to some quite interesting results. Six sense arrows will still show up on the screen even under effect of disruption, although high intensity disruption will almost completely obscure them. Resilience perk provides a decent reduction in duration of about 2.5 seconds, but let's face it, this huge blob above your head every time you're affected by any kind of ability, not just disruption, really throws stealth out of the window and it can give you away when you least expect it or want it. So, think twice before choosing that perk. Finally, Disruption disables both Revelation Kill Streak and Vision Loss Streak. I think this ability truly shines in team modes, whereas in free for all modes, if you try to get stuns with this thing, uh, you'll need perfect timing, perfect positioning, which is compared to knife stuns, for example, is much much more work. Uh, and there's always a risk that your target or pursuer will flee and uh, you will just waste your ability. In team modes, however, such as manhunt and artifact assault is much more useful since you can assist your teammates, you can get uh, stuns with the help of your teammates' disruptions, you can point starve by draining your pursuer's uh, approach meters with this thing. Also, in Artifact Assault you can always disrupt defenders, especially the ones that are standing on the roofs waiting for the carrier to grab the flag and so they could just shoot it. When it comes to crafting, I think that two points in Disturbance is the way to go. You want your target or pursuer to see as little as possible and one extra point should go in duration because cooldown is slow enough already. <laughs> 